All right, so let's imagine we have data that is already in long format and we want to make it wide. Now, I find that I do this much less frequently than taking wide data and making it long, but there are some instances where you want to make calculations across columns that it's helpful to be able to make your data wide, do some calculation, and then pull it long again. So we've got data here that is in long format, and let's use the pivot wider function to make that long data wide. So we're going to make a new thing called beach wide by taking the long data and piping it into the pivot wider function. Now the pivot wider function is actually almost easier because what it wants to know is where you're going to get the names from. Right? So we're starting with this long data and we are um, going to make it into a lot of wide columns and it wants to know where the names of those columns are going to come from. So in this case, the names of the columns are going to come from the site variable. So, and because that site variable already exists, you don't have to put it in quotes. And then you want to tell it where the values are going to come from. So in this case, we're going to fill the columns with values from the variable called bug levels. And then because um, you have told it those two, um, those two variables, that's all it needs to know. You don't need to, um, you don't need to tell it which columns because you've already told it you want a site column and the bug levels column. All right, so let's try that. So now we've ended up with this thing called beach wide. That is just what the data looked like um, in the beginning, right? So that's pivot wider, even easier than pivot longer.